What's up, Mafia Nation? Welcome back. It's LVT. I'm Max. And we're here to do another Asian video for you. Let's get it. We're going to pretend like I didn't just rip my hoodie off and <laughs> That's a little toasty in here. I it was a that. little toasty. And my hair blends in with my hoodie. And it <laughs> makes me very self-conscious. <laughs> All right, Anyways. so I'm happy. You're not happy. Why am I not happy? Oh yeah, you can fuck right off. It's fine. I ordered her one, but yes, uh, we got some. Oh. Oh. You can't see the green, but well, hold on, let me, let me go to the green the... spot. <laughs> right. We just should hold like a like a white screen behind you. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, they're so cool, guys. If you haven't seen them, be sure to go check out the, the Streamlabs merch below. That's where you're going to get that shirt. And some word soup. You got the word soup handy? I, I do, actually. Show him the word soup one. He got both because he sucks. You can't really see what that it one's, is. That one's harder to see than the other one is. Yeah. But that's all green. Yeah. Which is why it looks like our background <laughs> because green screen. Hey. hey! Ew, my arms shake. Ew, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what are we doing today, Meg? Tonight we are doing The World by a new group we haven't heard yet called 9mm Parabellum Bullet. That's a mouthful of a name. It is a mouthful of a name. Is that their full name? I... For the people out there, or the person who sent us this video, which is... Soldier Elite 3. Soldier Elite 3, thanks. Um, Tell us if that's their full name, or if, like... I don't know. I want jokes on you. That's just the shortened version. <laughs> I'll throw up everywhere, but oh, okay. Man. But yeah, I have no idea what to expect. Um, didn't say much about this other than he wanted us to react to it. Gotcha. All right. Well, we're here. We're doing it for you, guy. What up? Or yeah. lady. It could be a lady. Or a lady. Could be. All right. So before we check this video out, be sure you subscribe. That wasn't English. <laughs> make sure you <laughs> make that notification bell go ding. And be sure to like, comment, and share with your friends. That's what I meant to say for the for the first part. I word souped it. Word soup. I should wear the word soup shirt because apparently <laughs> that's my vibe today. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta find somebody whose eyeballs I like. Got it. Copy. What? Oh. You <laughs> Blonde moment. Sorry. I like their drum set. Yes. It's green. It's green. It's very vibey. Mm hmm. I feel like it's about to either pick up. Just a little bit. Sorry, I had the volume down a little bit. Okay. Right off the rip, what's going on with that guy's hair? I don't know. Does he own a hairbrush? Wow. That's... I'm not saying it looks bad, but it is awfully floofy. <laughs> I'm not saying it looks bad. He could be the chillest guy in the world. But that is what my hair looks like after rolling around for three days and not brushing it, which I do often. Fun fact about LVT, she does not like to brush her hair. <laughs> Come on, that's floofy. <laughs> not disagreeing. He's got a nice voice though. Such a mellow song, but that drummer is going so ham. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm kind of getting from this so far? Mm -hmm. Muse vibes. Yeah, I could see that. Especially like all the tempo changes and stuff, mm -hmm. yeah. That's 
huge crowd, damn. It is. That's a cool looking stage or uh, arena too. Yeah, I wonder if this is actually like a, like a, like out here we have like Gund Arena or the Q is what it's called now. It's the Gund Arena. Okay, that's what I grew up with it as. So I'm going to call it that. Um, but we have that. And I mean, the Cavalli Center's not that big, is it? I've never been there. It's it's decent sized. Is it? Okay. Well, like we have a couple like arenas, but we don't have any like stadiums around here except for like the Brown Stadium. I don't know if they've ever done a concert out of the Brown Stadium. I don't think so. Well, I mean, I guess the closest thing we could relate to this would be like Blossom. I've never been to Blossom, so. Blossom, for those of you who don't live in Ohio, is an outdoor um, music. Uh, it's like a pavilion, essentially. Oh, so I, I've been to First Niagara, something like that. Yeah, kind of. It's like um, big wooden, great acoustics, and then it's it's got like an arena setting inside of the pavilion. And then when you go back, you can like sit in the field. So, yeah. First Niagara is like that too. Yeah. So, I mean, that would be the closest thing that I would compare to this, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but this is definitely inside. I don't know. Yeah, this is for sure inside, but it's huge. Like, it is yeah. absolutely a I huge mean, venue. So, I kind of want to know. I mean, I guess it would be relatable to Cavalli Center. The only thing that's different with Cavalli Center is the standing area isn't that big because they have the seats that go around. They, that. Agora? Not ballroom. The actual agora. Oh, yeah. Mm, yep. Like that? Yeah. Gotcha. Sorry, tangent. Sorry, guys. My bad. <laughs> but I do want to know where this is, so. Wherever they are, they have some light walls going mm, I love it. That's the dream, man. Right. I feel like JB should be here for this one. This does have some, oh, some, some lo-fi. Yeah, it did have a little bit of lo-fi vibes there. Then they changed it back up. They keep doing the change-ups. Mm -hmm. It's good though. It Keeps you on your toes. Yeah. I say this every video that I yawn and I am not yawning because I am bored. I'm yawning because I literally work a hundred hours a week. Sorry about that. Bass player's going ham too. He just almost knocked, or I'm sorry, guitar player. He just almost knocked himself over because he's <laughs> flinging his guitar. <laughs> and his hair, both of their hair are really pretty. I am wondering if the bass player has a full face though, because you have not seen it once. So <laughs> I'm sure he does, but I don't know You're what it looks douche. like. He's got them scene kid vibes going on yeah. for sure. With the hair, for yeah. sure. And the clothes too. Yeah. Well, no, I don't know if that I mean, hey, email, I guess. You have to you have to be with the times now. It's E boy. E boy. That's like the new emo kid slang. It's like Gosh. internet. I quit. I retire. Yeah. I'm old, so I don't really know the full if any of you know what an e boy is, put it in the description below so that way me and Mags can read up on it. I've just seen some videos of like e boys and e girls, and from the photos that I've seen, the best thing I could compare them to is like the senior emo kids from our day, hmm. the kids that like had coon tails in their hair <laughs> and like freaking hair teased up to here. <laughs> Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Yeah, I was one of those kids. Leave me alone. <laughs> 
I didn't say anything. You gave me the eyeballs. I gave you the eyeballs, and I'll still get it myself, but. Ha -ha. Sure. See. <laughs> <laughs> So good. Yeah, that was definitely different. Um, like the change ups kept, like you said, they kept me on my toes. And yeah, like, for sure. And like, again, I really feel a lot of Muse vibes from that just because of all of the change ups. And the guitar style seemed awfully similar. Um, I know the guy from Muse is a super amazing, talented guitar player. Yeah. But like, this guy seemed really, really good too. Not that I know really anything about playing guitar because I don't have any of those talents or abilities but he looked like he was killing it the whole band looked like they were killing it he was killing it yeah they were doing yeah. good you know drummer going ham he was but like he was going ham and it matched it like you could just see him going crazy hitting all the things but yeah, like, it didn't had high energy. it didn't overpower everything mm -hmm. so that was really cool yeah he was you could see on his face that he was going hard he had high energy but like the hits weren't like overpowering look yeah it was not oscar the grouching or no what is that animal animal i i'm gonna shut up now <laughs> <laughs> thank you again so much soldier elite 3 for your recommendation and your donation if you guys have any other recommendations please let us know in the comments below hit us up on the discord or you can do what soldier elite 3 did and check out the donation link in the description below that's way to get your request bump to the top of the list well, you're down there go on and pop on over to the merch store one and two because one has leggings like this you can't really see the green in those either because again <laughs> we're a green band but uh or if you go over to merch store number two you can get shirts such as look at them and we're two and we're two also be sure to check out all of our social media that's been scrolling below We've been really shitty about posting on our Instagram, and I'm very sorry about that. Uh, again, I work 100 hours a week between this, my actual job, and raising children. So! <laughs> it's a good time. It's so much fun. But I will get back on it, I promise. I make that vow to you guys. We will start posting more content because we need to, and you guys follow us for a reason. So. Indeedly doodly. Speaking of following us, if you guys have not seen our new music, new music videos yet you should go you check the those wrong out. shirt <laughs> i did wear the wrong shirt i really feel like i did but uh yeah if you guys haven't seen any music videos yet go check them out they're a lot of fun uh they were hard work but they were a lot of fun and i really am happy with how they 50 hours out. of misery that's good time but it came out so beautiful it did even though darian's forehead is definitely the <laughs> star of the show everybody go on to those videos watch them in their entirety and comment forehead <laughs> that's what my right. kids call darian his forehead you ain't right it's funny because it's true i know thank you guys again for watching till next time